Crypto prices are plummeting in reaction to the latest crackdown from the SEC. As of noon Eastern, Bitcoin dropped by 1.5% below $22,000. Crypto, one of the many sectors that seems to be watching the Fed's next moves. With Right now, we're looking at the best month since the fall of 2021. The Bitcoin price holds just under $22,000. The cryptocurrency industry isn't in its best days. Prices have plummeted, startups are folding, big companies have filed bankruptcies, and investors are fleeing. According to Michael Saylor, Bitcoin is the big idea. I know, it's been painful to watch the market right now, but it's also been necessary. At least that is what Michael Saylor believes. Want to know why? Well, in today's video, we're going to hear Michael Saylor's viewpoint on the Bitcoin and crypto market. So stay tuned until the end of this video. And of course, for more videos on the crypto market, be sure to hit that subscribe button. This weekend, Bitcoin broke through a cultural support level of around $21,875, raising the likelihood of a negative trend in BTC. If there's a bullish break through this level, the next resistant limits of $22,300 and $22,850 may be reached. Let's hear Michael Saylor. Uh, ultimately, the, the big idea here is that money is technology that allows us to transfer economic energy through time and space. And we're seeing and living through a digital transformation of money. Everybody wants to move assets at the speed of light, friction-free, 24-7, 365. Micro strategies, Bitcoin strategy is just a way to invest in that. And the enthusiasm over Bitcoin is really billions of people on the planet that want to move their money faster and more frequently. And they're, they're, uh, they're uh, chafing at the restrictions of the 20th century analog finance economy. Michael Saylor coins Bitcoin as the big idea. It's time for finance to move into the 21st century. Moreover, Michael Saylor believes that Bitcoin is a fantastic asset for safeguarding money and offering protection for people who are financially disadvantaged all around the world. Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system which proposes a new way of handling transactions that would be free from the fees and restrictions of the traditional banking system. Since its inception, Bitcoin has grown exponentially in both value and popularity. Bitcoin has the potential to radically change the way we think about money and finance. Michael Saylor believes that it's important to invest in Bitcoin because it has the potential to help us become more financially sovereign. According to a survey as well, two-thirds of millennials view Bitcoin as a safe haven. With Bitcoin, we can hold our own private keys and have full control over our money. This is in contrast to the current financial system where our money is controlled by central authorities. His criticisms of crypto aren't totally off. There are 10,000 crypto tokens which are gambling, and I sympathize with them on that matter. But uh, Charlie and the other critics, they're members of the Western elite, and they're continually prodded for an opinion on Bitcoin, and they haven't had the time to study it. If, uh, if he was a business leader in South America or Africa or Asia, and he spent 100 hours studying the problem, he would be more bullish on Bitcoin than I am. Uh, Lebanon, Argentina, Sri Lanka, Nigeria, Venezuela, they all illustrate the plight of the common man, and there's no solution better than Bitcoin. So I, I really think that you know the Western elites, they haven't had the time to study it. But I've never really met someone with an incentive living in the rest of the world that spent some time to think about it that wasn't enthusiastic about Bitcoin. You know, the crypto meltdown was, uh, it's, it's painful in the short term, but it's necessary over the long term for the industry to grow up. Uh, this industry uh, has some good ideas, uh, like uh, digital currencies and assets moving at the speed of light uh, that are unstoppable and a digital commodity that can't be debased. And it also has a lot of entrepreneurs that implemented those good ideas in an irresponsible fashion. What it needs is adult supervision. It needs the Goldman Sachs and the Morgan Stanleys and the Black Rocks to come in the industry. It needs, it needs clear guidelines from Congress. It needs clear rules of the road from the SEC. This, uh, the crypto meltdown has punctuated uh, the problem, has educated everybody on, on it. But also, it's, it's underscored the idea that it's time for the world to provide a constructive, uh, transparent framework for digital assets so that we can move the financial system out of the 20th century 
into the 21st century. The sudden and dramatic drop in the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies has been painful for investors and enthusiasts alike. All the bankruptcies and meltdowns in the crypto space may be a necessary correction that helps the industry mature and grow in the long run. According to Michael Saylor, this is a good thing for the industry, as it'll help weed out the speculative element and lead to more sustainable growth. The primary cryptocurrency is a vital investment instrument as it offers financial freedom and allows people to diversify in times of economic uncertainty. On top of that, there are many new developments coming to Bitcoin that make it even more user-friendly. Let's get into the next clip to see what excites Michael Saylor the most in the crypto space right now. But before going ahead, be sure to like and share. The most exciting thing going on right now in the, in the digital monetary world is Lightning. Lightning is a layer two open protocol for moving Bitcoin transactions in a split second for a fraction of a penny. In essence, Lightning is money over IP. And if you think about the world uh, as it changed after TCP IP and moving data over IP and then voice over IP, uh, Lightning promises to allow millions of companies uh, to provide transactions in real time with billions of consumers. MicroStrategy is actually developing MicroStrategy Lightning, our own enterprise Lightning offering. And uh, we're going to allow uh, CMOs uh, to offer Lightning rewards or Bitcoin rewards, like a universal frequent flyer program, to hundreds of thousands or millions of their customers, all of their employees, all of their prospects, at the speed of light off of a website. And uh, so we're very enthusiastic about that. You know, like right now, companies spend billions of dollars on digital marketing. They give it to Google, they give it to Facebook, and they spend that money on ads in order to get people to come to their website. What if you could just give the billions of dollars in money directly to your customers and your prospects and you cut out the advertising? It might create a much less toxic, much more constructive environment. To do it, you need micro payments. You need to be able to move money at the speed of light, friction free. You can't do it with uh, 20th century credit cards. They're too expensive. They're too slow. They're too kludgy. There's too much friction. So what Bitcoin offers is micro transactions that can fundamentally change the way you market, change the way you build your products. And of course, you know, if you live in Africa or South America and it's Saturday afternoon, you know, the banking system is not working for you. Right. Bitcoin and Lightning is, is a, a monetary system that works for the entire world and never gets turned off. The most interesting aspect of Bitcoin for me is the fact that it's the first digital scarce good. Another interesting aspect of Bitcoin is it's a completely open source project. Anyone can contribute to the development of Bitcoin and there's a large number of developers working on the project. Michael Saylor highlights the Bitcoin Lightning project. While digital currencies remain in their infancy, the exciting thing going on now is the implementation of Lightning Networks on Bitcoin. This has the potential to speed up transactions and to make them more user-friendly. It has the potential to change the digital economy and make Bitcoin a more viable currency for everyday transactions. What's your viewpoint on the Lightning Network? Do you think Bitcoin is the next big thing in the finance market? What will the price of Bitcoin be 10 years from now? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. For more videos on the economy, crypto, and the market, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, and thanks for watching.